If you're a music producer, then one of the most important parts of music production is generating the ideas. In this video, I'm gonna show you my 11 most powerful song starting ideas that will get you from blank door to a great idea in no time at all. You guys voted for this in the community the other week, so thank you for taking part. I've put another poll up, so if you wanna get involved in the channel and let me know what you want me to cover, click on the community tab of this channel and then you can cast your vote. So one of the most frustrating things as a music producer is to open a blank door project and just not know where to start to get an idea going. I've been there thousands of times myself. How freaking annoying is that? Oh, it just makes you want to give up music production altogether. But fear not, because if you apply these 11 techniques, you're never gonna have that problem again. You can also download my idea generation cheat sheet completely free below this video. Just pop it on your desktop or print it out, put it next to your computer, so you'll always have an idea of how to start a new project. And I made a video a couple of weeks ago about how to finish projects, so you can check that out there or there after watching this video. Okay, without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. So the first and probably most simple technique that I like to use is just to create inspiration playlists. And that basically means any music I like at all in whatever media player I'm using, so it doesn't matter if it's Apple Music or Tidal or Spotify, whatever works for you, just make playlists of music that catches your attention that you really like. And whenever you get stuck and you just can't generate ideas at all, listen to some of your favorite music, perhaps skip through it randomly. And it doesn't have to just be modern music. It could be music from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Anything that you listen to might just spark an idea and get things cooking. So that's my first tip is to create inspiration playlists. I use them all the time. Okay, for the next song starting tip, this is using MIDI files. You can either use MIDI MIDI packs, like the ones that we will see on the internet, or the EDM Tips MIDI pack, or you could actually search for one of your favorite artists. For example, you could just do a Google search for Coldplay Free MIDI. And the point here is that you can then bring that MIDI into the door, you can change the key of that MIDI, and you can switch around the chords of that MIDI as well. So let me give you a quick example. And this is a great way to just spark inspiration and get ideas. And no one's ever gonna know that you started with a MIDI pack or the chords from your favorite song because you've switched it around and you've changed the key. So let's just go and find some MIDI here. Okay, let's go for some chord progressions, uh, minor chord progression. Let's drag this in and have a listen to what it sounds like. I've just got this uh, with a synth loaded up. Let's have a listen. So that sounds pretty cool. So let's change the key by just going in, selecting everything, moving it up or down one or more semitones and then it's going to have changed the key and then let's just switch some of these calls around like so uh, let's put this one there and i think that was the same so we can switch this one there uh, in fact we'll switch these two around and let's just drag them back and now let's have a listen to what we've got a new chord progression in a new key. And as I said, you can do that with MIDI from your favorite songs. That's a great way to generate a new idea. Okay, next idea generation tip is to sample an old track and use that as a starting point to generate your idea. So what I like to do is go through some older music that I really like that's perhaps in my playlist. So in this example, we've got Africa by Toto. So I'm just gonna drag that into my door. And this is what you have to do if you are going to use this technique, or it's the easiest thing to do anyway. So I'm going to go into the track, and this is a bit harder if there aren't really drums in the track, but you find the first transient. And the easiest thing to do is to just look it up online, you know, what tempo is this track? Just do a Google search, but I'm going to warp it. Uh, just warp from here, warp from that first transient, and you can usually not warp straight unless the track is an EDM track, so it's done perfectly on the grid, but most old tracks are, you know, played by bands, so they're not perfectly in time. So that's why you want to warp uh, not straight like that. Sometimes it go, it's not perfectly in time. So what you can do is you can go in and look and see that it's not perfectly in time. So I'm going to drag the start point over a little bit and I can see the beats are now lining up. And you can just use a little part of that track to give you inspiration. So I'm just going to take this loop here. And 
I'm just going to loop that and I'm going to consolidate it just for fun. Let's change the key, change it to Complex Pro. And you can even cut that up once you've got a little loop. So let's just take this bit and then make a little cool stutter rhythm with it. So let's just use that. Get a beat under it. Our idea could just start from somewhere like this. But whatever the loop is and whatever the sample is, you might find just a little nugget in there that you want to start your track with can be a great way to kick off creativity. Okay, next idea generation kickstarting tip is to use a loop from a sample pack and take things from there. Again, it doesn't matter what the instrument is, I recommend browsing through perhaps Splice or Loop Cloud, um, or even if you've downloaded and bought a whole sample pack, and just listen to some of the loops in there. Could be a melody, could be a chord progression. That's nice, so I'll drag that in. So I could just use that from scratch, build my beats around it, build my bass line around it, find a vocal that's in the same key. And that's just a great, easy, quick way to start off building a new track. Again, much like we looked at with the MIDI earlier, you could just switch around some of those progressions as well, make it a bit more your own. So you don't have to use it exactly as it comes from the box. And there's the next tip. If you're enjoying this so far, guys, let me know in the comments below. Give me a hell yeah or an amen, brother. And let me know what you want to see me cover on this channel. Okay, without further ado, let's hop into my next idea generating technique. So this is just starting off with only a piano sound or another really simple sound. And the idea is here, you're not going to be distracted by the sound design um, aspect of production. So just choose standard grand piano sound. And then the idea is that you have to come up with a melody and a chord progression that captures your attention, even though it's just in a piano sound. So for example, let's start on A minor because it's the easiest key to write in because it's just using all the white notes from A up to A. So you don't need to worry about hitting the wrong notes. Or you could actually just choose scale if you're using um, Ableton or something similar, and then that will just lock in the notes that you're allowed to use for that scale. So let's just start off an idea. So just with the piano. And as I said, you can use my template technique, which is just press scale, press A minor, and then press fold or scale, sorry. And then it's only going to show the notes from within that key, so you can't really hit the wrong note. So this is my chord progression. And now let's write a melody. And as I said, the idea here is to come up with an idea that captures your attention and is a good track, even before you've included any other sounds. Now that's a hallmark of a good track. I'm not saying this is going to be a good track, but I'm just giving an example. And if you want uh, some tips on melody writing, you can click the link that's popping up now as well. So I'll just put this up an octave so we're not interfering with our chord progressions. And I shall just repeat that because, again, one thing in melodies is to have repetition. 
and I'll tweak it as we go. I think it needs to be the same rhythm. It's going to be a bit stronger if I do that. Again, because of the repetition. I think that sounds about right. Like for me, I could just jam to that for a, for a while. So I know if I then convert this melody here into a vocal or a synth and then choose some really lush pad for these piano chords and then put a nice beat to it, then that's a good idea for me. And it just took a couple of seconds to do that. Okay, for the next idea generation technique, this is about humming or singing and then converting that to MIDI. Now I'm gonna do it just in the microphone, but you can get one of these doubler things as well. And you can actually sing into this microphone and it will convert it to MIDI. You can beatbox into it as well. And this is an example. So I'll just delete the melody that we just made and say our chords are these, and let's just change the key of these. Nice. So what I'm gonna do is just create an audio uh, thing. Then I am going to open the inputs and make sure I've got my microphone taken as the input. Now what you can also do is you can right click on the track header here and you can show take lanes and this means that we can sing and loop around as we go and I'm just going to come up with some ideas think of my singing I've got a cold and also I can't sing but it doesn't matter so I quite like that bit, actually. Uh, you can choose the take that you like. Now in Ableton 11, you're able to do that. And of course, you can do that in Logic as well. And this is just a template. So at that point, I would create a MIDI channel with an instrument. Again, just a piano is fine. And then I would basically trace what I've just created in, note by note. So let's turn off our chords. Uh, let's start the clip a bit sooner, so it's more in time. And then. And just trace it like this, basically. Just by ear. Or again, you can use one of these doubler things and it'll do it automatically. I don't think audio, or you can actually do MIDI from audio in Ableton as well. Um, so I've never actually tried it. So let's have a look and see how it goes. Um, convert melody to new MIDI track. So let's try this. Okay, where is this MIDI track? There we go. Let's see if that's worked. I'd probably just do this manually in the way that I've just shown you, but let's have a listen. So it's a little bit off. So I'm having to So I'm having to tweak it a bit, but it was it was more or less there. So let's see how that sounds with our chords. So there's another idea for generating new ideas. My next idea generation technique is something I use a lot, but I'll just record it into my iPhone voice memo. But if you are at your door, you can do this. And it's similar to the last one, but it's just beatboxing. So make sure that you're synced up if you are doing it in your door. So 
Just any ideas, including beats, little rhythms, little sounds. Something like that. And then you've got to make sure it's in sync. But again, I usually would just do that into my voice memo. Then I would take that into the door and then just kind of copy it, knowing the vibe that I want to go for. But yeah, there's just an idea. And I always keep my iPhone near me. Like if I wake up in the middle of the night and I have an idea, I'll just kind of sing it into it and then it's recorded. Okay, on to the next tip. So my next idea generation tip is recording Foley. Now Foley is just sounds out and around in the environment that you hear. You can either use a smartphone for this. They're really good now, the microphones on them. Or you could actually get a field recorder um, like one of the ones by Zoom. That's something that I've got. And listening back to those field recordings can just spark off a vibe and, and just get things cooking. And that's all you really need. You know, you, we're just looking for that little spark for the idea generation. So if I go to some of my atmosphere effects, let's see, I've got some that I've recorded from around the world. Let's see, I've got some frogs here from uh, a town called Pai in Thailand. You know, you don't actually have to use this in the track itself, but it might just kind of give you a little bit of a vibe. So I'm going to get rid of the bits with me scratching at the microphone like some weird beast. Yeah, I like that. So now what does this say to me? OK, maybe I can layer that with a different sound. Like for me, that kind of says thunder. Like they could be thunder as well. So, I, and again, you can actually look up Foley online. You don't need to record it yourself. So there's another option. But. So now I've got these two things looped. This just makes me think of like deep vibes. So at that point, what I might do is um, get a sound like massive, uh, a synth like massive, just find some kind of keys. I don't know if this is going to sound any good. And then just... Let's see some deep chord. And then let's put a filter on that. Um, EQ filter. And then let's put a echo on there just to keep things rocking. Get some nice feedback. So now I'm thinking lo-fi beats. And there you go, that's just another idea to generate some inspiration and get an idea cooking. Okay, my next song generating idea is skipping through presets until you find something that just sparks something off. So to do this, I would create a MIDI channel and then pick one of my favorite synths. Uh, I've got lots of really good synths now, so I'm just gonna go for perhaps silent, something I haven't used for a while. Make sure I've got MIDI notes playing so I can play it from my keyboard. I don't have my MIDI keyboard plugged in at the moment. And then just find a preset bank. Uh, you can buy one or you can, yeah, perhaps find a random one. And just scroll through until something just sparks off an idea. You 
might just hit upon something like that that just makes you go, yes, I now, you know, it's sparked your inspiration and it just gets that ball rolling. Now, the next tip can actually use some of the techniques we used earlier. So if you've written an idea, say, in a grand piano sound, let's just draw in a melody. I'm not going to use the grand piano because I've got the... Um, I've got the silence selected at the moment, but that's fine because the point of this is to just switch the presets or the samples on the idea that you've already written in. So I've got a bass line that I like. Uh, it's just simple, these three notes. And maybe I want it to be a different sound. And I'm just switching through different sounds until something sparks my inspiration or you could even throw a sampler on there instead so let's just use this and then let's find a random sample you could even put loops in there let's see what that sounds like Old school drum and bass. Nice. So by programming some MIDI in and then switching out the sounds, especially if you're using samples which might have chords already baked into the sample, you can just come up with ideas perhaps that you couldn't even conceive. So it's more through experimentation than anything else. And for my final song generating tip today, this is using the clip mode or the session view in Ableton Live. So I'm gonna create a few different clips and then I'm gonna show you how this technique works. So I'm gonna fast forward now and get some clip ideas in there. Nah, in fact, scratch that. I'm not going to fast forward. You can sit through and you can watch me do it because you might find it useful. You can fast forward this bit if you don't want to watch me create an idea from scratch, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's get a kick drum. That'll do. Let's program it in. Let's get a snare. Clap. Quite nice. Let's just call that clap on its own. So when you're using clips, it's quite good to label them correctly because say for this secondary one, we want to have more drums on there. Claps and hats. And let's get this in there and get some hats. Get an open hat as well. Something like so. So 
already I'm getting kind of vibes coming into my mind and my brain. So let's just load in a serum, put in a bass line. It's twice as long. Let's just make that bass a bit more interesting. Get a bit pluckier, mono. Nice. Uh, let's just get some chords in there. Uh, again, if you want to learn how to make chords from a bass line, you can click on the link that's popping up there now. And for this, let's just use Serum again and start from scratch. And let's just soften this down a bit and make it a little bit quieter. Natural color of bass is yellow, of course, as we all know in nature and chords. Well, it's a synth, so the natural color of synths is indeed cyan. So let's just color those up. Call this bass. Call this chords. Now, what are the bass notes? G, okay. G, A sharp, G sharp. Maybe I don't want chords actually, just a lead synth. Which will be a melody. Because it's kind of minor, so A sharp, then G sharp. Okay. Let's just make that twice as long. Bit of an eighties feel. And let's just get some chords in there because uh, that's just the lead really i'm going a bit off piece here guys this is the last one but i'm going to show you what you can actually do with this once it's done uh, let's color these blue and get an organ sound in there so i'm going to go for let's go for contact Vintage key, vintage organs. There's a bit of a weird sound if we do this. Go for a. I'm gonna go this one. See what that sounds like. Mm. 
Probably the wrong sound. But again, we can switch it around afterwards. Remember to click on the chord tutorial popping up as well. on its own and this is the point of what we can do now you can actually just play one clip at a time and decide if you want to experiment with just a couple of things playing and we can play that scene And you can also have alternate bass lines as well. So for instance, you could duplicate this, choose a completely different bass sound program in a completely different bass line, and then just choose to experiment and use these clips as a palette from which you can draw upon. And that can be a great, really creative way to generate ideas in Ableton Live. It was kind of designed for this use, really. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed these 11 song generating ideas. I hope you find them useful. Let me know in the comments. If you find them useful, which one just sparked something off for you that you're going to try in your next track? And do let me know in those comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to find out more about coaching with me and get your music to a professional level, like with some of my other students getting signed to some of the world's biggest and most respected labels, getting played on radio stations such as BBC Radio, then check out the music production accelerator using the link below and see if it's something that you'd be interested in until next time thanks for watching cheers and happy producing <laughs>